May 7, 2008. From Atlanta, hi, I'm Brad Fallon. Welcome to the Freeline. First up, DIG has decided to implement Semantic Web Standards in their latest update. The Semantic Web is being touted as Web 3.0, and it's the driving force behind the next generation of web technology. Simply put, it's a way of describing relationships that will allow search engines and other machines to understand exactly what's contained in various types of web content. With Web 2.0, people connect and communicate with other people online. With Web 3.0, the machines begin to talk to each other. Then the world gets interesting, and resistance will be futile. We reported earlier about the newest version of one of the more popular Linux distributions, Ubuntu Hardy Heron. It's been turning heads with its slick graphics and user-friendly interface. Not bad for a free operating system. It comes with some useful applications too, such as the newest Firefox 3 beta and a BitTorrent client called Transmission. Oddly enough, one thing it doesn't come with is a DVD player, but we've got a link to remedy that situation with an easy and free tutorial. Well, Flash has been the dominant programming tool for making interactive web content for well over 10 years. But now Microsoft seems to be getting serious about their new Silverlight technology. Silverlight is a fast alternative to Flash and now has its own gaming SDK called Popfly. This tool looks extremely easy to use. Of course, it remains to be seen whether it will actually give Adobe a run for its money, but at least it may encourage Adobe to make Flash even better. Like hurry up with the iPhone integration, guys. And perhaps we'll start to see some games built in Popfly in the social networks. Moshi is a new game that allows players to create a free online pet and make friends at the same time. Think of it as Pokemon meets MySpace. Right now this software is in closed beta, but it's definitely something to keep your eye on, especially if you're eight years old. And finally, TripWolf is another social web application in beta that's kind of cool. TripWolf allows you to log in and see videos and photographs of your destination before you get there, giving you a visual overview of the hotel, the landscape, and all the hotspots. It includes recommendations by locals and other travelers. Very cool. Well, that's it for today. Our two minutes are up. For The Freeline, I'm Brad Fallon, and I'll be back tomorrow with more Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes. For Web 2.0 news you can use in 2.0 minutes, visit FreelineReport.com.